what is up cancer thank you so much for being a part of the youtube crew we're going to go ahead and get into your week ahead what you need to know what you need to be aware of what you can expect these are general readings take what you need leave the rest if you need more specific insight to your situation please check your other placements some memorizing in venus i will be um continuing with the daily uploads over there on patreon it will be listed in the description box below i will no longer be offering etsy readings um that being said we're going to go ahead and get in here and see what you need to know this week what you need to be aware of what you can expect for the cancer i heard love spell edition so i don't want to do that i said that <laughs> i said it and then that came out okay so this weekend and voodoo y'all i feel okay I, i'm getting i'm getting some weird on y'all's energy this week specifically i feel like somebody has done a ritual that they are regretting doing this week and it's like it feels like, oh, yeah, somebody's in deep regret over some kind of ritual that they had sent your way. I feel like this could be a love ritual, all right? I feel like there's somebody here who didn't get, ex yeah, I'll look, on the bottom of the deck, I love you. Uh, this is something that didn't turn out exactly as planned, okay? Whether this is you or somebody around you who's done this, I feel like there's a little bit of a nightmare of a situation where somebody's finding themselves in. I feel like somebody may have accidentally done a little bit too much trying to revive a relationship or get something up and going, all right? And this is has created some form of obsession, okay? Like, I'm seeing this, I'm reading this as obsession, okay? So, I'm, <laughs> if this is somebody here who has been casting rituals on you, Cancer... This, there may have been a backfire that's gone on in this time if this person was uh, protected because I feel like it's a backfire either in the sense of you did somebody, somebody, okay, I'm not going to say you, somebody did this, cast this ritual because they wanted this person and now they've moved on or grown out of this phase or it, the relationship was a phase and now this person is still obsessed with this individual or with you, or there's something going on here. There, there's obsession out here. It's like a, a backfire of a spell, a love spell that's turned obsession, okay? And somebody is not interested in the situation anymore, okay? There's somebody here who has outgrown something, and there's some kind of binding thing that is keeping someone stuck. It may be coming back to bite someone in the ass this week, Okay? Whether this is you or somebody who you're dealing with. Because I feel like there's a situation where someone has moved on or is trying to move on. And there's someone here still in their feelings wishing they could communicate with someone who there's no communications with. Also, I'm seeing a, a reversal of that to where somebody has cast a love ritual and it was blocked from hitting their target. And it has come back and hit somebody else. And this person is now facing obsession there's there's obsession going on right here and this in this next week ahead i see there's like a love spell or ritual that has gone terribly wrong to where it's caused somebody to become overly obsessive and trapped in their mind about a certain love partnership dynamic and something is on repeat this week it's causing somebody to literally go insane, okay? Somebody's legitimately going insane this week, um, wishing that they could communicate with somebody that they cannot communicate with or someone who is not interested in communications. I hope this isn't y'all, because if it is, y'all gonna let me know. I say that. <laughs> I'm gonna block them comments. Anyways, what else y'all need to know this week? <laughs> what do y'all need to know this week besides that? Okay. Cancer, I'm going to take it as you're the one who's moved on in, in a new love partnership and relationship, okay? I feel like there's somebody who you've moved on to could possibly be a Libra or someone who is very balanced or somebody who things just work well for you, okay? I feel like you have found a connection um, in this time of possibly being single that's really doing it for you. This person is... Um, doting on you, wanting to nurture you, putting you in a seat of power, making you feel like you are a powerful individual. I feel like there's a really solid friendship building between you and a specific person. And there's another person here on the outside who is legitimately 
die, I was say dying, crying over the fact that they cannot connect with you. I feel like they want to express their feelings. I feel like they feel like they're missing out on something with you. You may not have even been aware of <laughs> what this person's done if they're the ones who've cast this ritual. It's really dependent on who you are in this situation. If you were the one casting a ritual to get someone to be obsessed with you, I feel like you would have gotten that love interest at one point in time. And now it's there's something that is backfiring about this love spell this week. And it's being, it's like public. It, there might, this person, it's like they keep writing this message trying to profess their love to you. And then they don't send it. I feel like there is somebody here who is like <clears throat> overwhelmed by their emotions this week. And feeling trapped and like they're running out of time in a situation. And I feel like there's like building anxiety around this. For those of you who have already moved on to another partnership dynamic. Like I feel if this person writes you. Your face is legitimately going to look like this chick's. So like looking down the phone like oh my god. How am I going to tell this person that I'm no longer interested in them. Or that I just don't care. Uh, for some of you I feel like it may feel like you're trapped in between a rock and a hard place this week. Uh, specifically with this person who is refusing to let you go. I feel like there's someone here who is like hanging on for dear life, even though something is clearly over. Uh, look, are you going to hear from that person this week? Will you hear from that person this week? Oh my gosh. Three of swords. They, they are trying that they, they're trying to hook up. Okay. So this person definitely sees themselves as sleeping with you or finding a way to sleep with you or maybe that's all they're thinking about it's like something that is legitimately on repeat and if this is happening if this is what this person is seeing if they're focusing on you this much and obsessing over you do not be shocked if they pop up in your dreams because there is somebody here who cannot get either the sex with you off their mind or just you in general and they want to they want to obtain you they want to lure you in i feel like you need to be very careful with that type of energy specifically if you have moved on to this new partner because i feel like there's somebody here who you're very interested in and i feel like this one has the ability to go long term but there's someone who's trying to pull you back in this week they are emotional okay this is someone who is manifesting through their emotional uh like using their emotions to manifest you and i feel like they are a very emotional person so there's a lot of like energy behind all of this okay i guess you just need to know uh to be aware of that so if you want to go ahead and place certain boundaries up or um you know return to sender type stuff up you may want to do that because i feel like this is someone who it's like they're trying to refuse to let you go even though you've already made you didn't make it clear enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't make it clear enough. I feel like they're telling you. Um, somebody said till death do us part. So y'all need to be careful with that one. What else do they need to know this week? Some of you may be deciding to get married to this individual. And that's actually what sets this other person off. Because they were possibly waiting for you to release a specific individual. What can you expect this week? You can expect... Look, it's like things are, when things are going perfect between you and a new love interest, this person is going to try to communicate with you to see if there's anything left, if they can have a second chance. Um, for some of you, you may have to obliterate this person's hopes and dreams because I feel like if you do not, they're not going to stop. Okay. I mean, unless you just like playing with this person, but I feel like whoever this is, um, they're the type of individual, I got, if I can't have you, no one can. You may be playing with somebody who you should not be playing with, like legitimately crazy. You may want to uh, focus on, if you were the one who cast this ritual, you may want to try to figure out how to detach yourself from this person, this energy in a spiritual manner. Because there is some kind of cord still lingering between you and someone, whether it's them that has attached this cord or you, if you did it a long time ago, it's still in effect. And I feel like the longer, like this person has been trying to fight their obsession for you, it's about to start being seen very publicly. Uh, I'm seeing like a spiraling out of control situation for a specific person who's not letting go.
And for some of you, I know you don't want to hear that, but this has the ability to ruin like the solid foundation that you're trying to build with another person. Because I feel like you are, it's either you feel complete or you have found someone who feels like they complete you. And you need to be very careful. Like if you have obtained love, because I feel like you have, you have someone who loves you, who wants to be there for you, may even be talking about wanting to have kids together or combining families or something of the sort, be introduced you to their, something like this. Someone's taking that information very hard. It's a third party and it's somebody here who's not mentally stable. This person is walking back and forth in a household, like talking crazy. Like, I don't, I don't know what the, I, I'm not going to try to diagnose this person, but it's like they're talking to themselves, they're pacing back and forth, and they are literally, like, they're losing it. There's somebody here who's losing it. This is backfired it's love magic. It's black magic. Spell work. This is what this is. For some of you, you may be experiencing this, hearing about it, or seeing it this week. Be very careful. If this is a friend that you're seeing, you know, go through certain things, you're seeing certain signs, you may want to tell them, okay? Uh, because this may be something that was uh, placed in the ground that's needing to be dug back up, something that needs to be burned, something that's got to go, all right? I'm going to pull y'all a Rebel Deck message and advice message for you this week that was too many a rebel advice message for the cancer this week we've got get over yourself pull your shit together i hope it's not you losing at cancer oh my god okay so help people give back do good shit for humanity hopefully this is you having to help your friend through the situation because i feel like it may look like a shit show anyways that's what i've got for you guys don't forget to like the video share subscribe and i'll see you guys on patreon